Yeah, so Cramorant snipe this into Cramorant snipe this. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get those cards. There's the Welder. Gonna go ahead and start with Dance Tribute anyways. Two, three. There's the... Oh my gosh, we just drew into everything. All right. Yo, what is going on? You Mucanex using Munchlax. Today, we're playing some games with Baby Charizard or Team Up Charizard, I think is the, the name most people give it. Um, non VMAX Charizard is what I'm going to call it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty solid. Played around with it on the stream about a week ago. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. I stream there almost daily. Go check out the live stream. Twitch.tv slash AzulGG. Uh, yeah, the deck was a lot of fun um, and just nice to play a stage two deck that can, uh, you know, keep up some of the times with the other top decks going around these days. It's just nice to play a stage two deck. Uh, now and then and it uh, was going pretty well it was working out pretty fine um obviously nothing groundbreaking but if you guys are looking for a stage two deck to play with uh check it out so the way it works uh got the charge out as the main attack with the continuous blade ball fire fire just got all fire energy from this pokemon you do 50 for each energy you discarded this way the roaring resolve takes two fire energy out of our deck then we put two damage counters on our charizard so that's uh 130 damage attached for turn we can get up to 180 welder for two we can get up to 280 damage in a turn uh, Roaring Resolve, Attachment, and then Welder for two. Um, gets us up to 280. We can get up to 280 damage uh, in a single turn out of nowhere. Um, but, you know, stuff's got more HP than that. The Eternatus, VMAX, stuff like that. So we need to, like, build up a little bit of extra energy into play sometimes to get to those uh, larger knockouts. Um, besides that, it is a Jirachi build for Jirachi, of course. A lot of support ability Pokemon. Here we got the Zacian, the Oracorio, the Dedenne, the Crobat, got the Mewtwo, got a Zigzagoon for some extra damage, and a Cramorant to close out games on Dedenne's or something. Because that's only three energy with a spit shot, as opposed to maybe, you know, five, six energy to try and get on a charge shot to close out a game on whatever their active is. So, a little bit more efficient to close out games through Cramorant sometimes. So that's why we got the Cram in there. Uh, four Com, four Quick Ball, find our Pokemon, four Rare Candy. It is a stage two deck, one Ordinary Rod to recover some dudes if we need it. Uh, two Fire Crystal, two Giant Hearth, 12 Fire, four Switch, three Nets, four Welders, the only supporter in the deck. And that's the list. Uh, oh, one Charmeleon. Let's get into some games. All right, we're into our first game. Our opponent did choose to go first, but I do kind of like going second with this deck because finding our Pokemon is so important. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I'm, I'm so torn on decks that I don't play enough with to know if I want to go first or second. It's, it's second feels fine, though. I'll say that. Second, going second with this deck definitely feels fine. I don't feel like I'm in like a bad spot when I go second or anything with this. It feels more than fine uh, to be going second with this deck. Uh, I will bench the Charmander here. I'm not going to bench the Oracorio yet. We do want the Charmander down, though, because if our opponent is, you know, they have to use Crobat turn one and they have a reset stamp in hand. Reset stamp us. All right, it's ADP Zation. This matchup is winnable. <laughs> I'm just going to say that winnable matchup um because we can one shot their adp uh we can one hit ko the adp uh the turn it comes up in gx attacks and then if they can't set up position or even if they do set up position then we just need a charizard to respond to it so we have a decent shot yeah our goal here off the start is going to be knock out this adp i don't know why they switched there they didn't have to yeah they had an air balloon on the station they didn't need a switch there they did anyways all right um, yeah, so our goal, just get this knockout after our opponent does the GX attack. We need five energy on our Charizard, which is very doable in two turns. Very, very doable. So let's uh, let's do that. Draw. Charizard, so we have candy Charizard already. Need some more pieces, though. I'm going to have the switch. I'm going to net switch. I'm looking for a quick ball or a calm uh, to try and get the Zacian. I would like a calm, I think. A uh, quick ball wouldn't hurt, though. There's a welder. I like the welder more than the calm though. There's a calm now all of a sudden. I think I like the welder more. I want to actually keep the Oracorio around as well. But I guess Oracorio I can't even use until next turn anyways. Okay, so I'm going to go Mewtwo the welder on top. Welder to attach. Alright, so we're going to Mewtwo the welder on top. And pass. I'm going to welder for one. Roaring resolve for two. Attach. Knockout. So we'll welder first. Uh, yeah, we'll welder first because we want to draw into a fire energy and then we'll roaring resolve all right we got this we got this we can't put our hearth in play unfortunately but i we're gonna get this knockout we're gonna get this knockout. we do need another charmander to work with as well maybe i should have gone calm instead of grabbing the welder there but it's basically the same thing actually to be honest um and drawing into the music there made it work out uh, really well hopefully no marnie oh no there's a marnie first they're gonna reset stamp us though 
and then Marnius, I guess. They don't they don't want to save that for our hand was so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, they don't want us to draw. I like that actually. They don't want us to draw into the welder. Smart play, smart play. I was like, hmm, doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but it actually makes a ton of sense. Um, our draw is okay. Um, we are a rare candy. We're a rare candy short. We were a lot of things short, but we we can get there. Um let's see. Uh sheesh. <laughs> what do we want to do here? Stellar wish. Quick ball. Quick ball to calm. Grab another Jirachi. Bench. Net the active Jirachi. Send up a Jirachi. Bench a Jirachi. Attach an energy. Crobat for five. Cave welder for two. Or uh welder for we need five five energy, right? Yeah, five energy. So welder for one and then roaring resolve for two. Uh we could just welder for two. Uh welder for two, welder for two. We need a candy and we have the switch. We just need the rare candy here at this point. Can we rip our candy off the stellar wish? The answer is yes. And then we could even calm to get ourselves another Charmander here. Okay, we are in business. Charmander's here. Uh, hearth to bump the swell so our next hearth can get into play. Candy out the Charizard. We only need to grab one energy off this Roaring Resolve. So maybe I should have left one in the hand, to be honest. Because um, if I get this play, I'm never going to take both my energy out of my deck. Yeah, I probably should have left one energy in hand and Roaring Resolve for two. Um, so that was a mistake for sure. All right. Continuous Blaze Ball. Get that KO. Get that ADP out of my face. Um, now, it's pretty likely that they'll be able to... It's not too unlikely that they'll set up a new Zation here on this next turn. So, but we just need to respond with a, ooh, that's two energy. Candy Charizard. There's a rare candy. So, we're just short a, uh, a Charizard right now. So, we just top deck Charizard. We're in business. <laughs> we just top deck Charizard. Um, quick Ball into Oracorio into Charizard also works. Because um, all we need, we don't even need a Welder at this point. If we get a Welder, that's fine. But yeah, we just need to continue. We just need to get out the Charizard and then just use Roar and Resolve. And that gets all the energy in play we need. And then we're good to go from there. They could also whiff. They could whiff Switch Card plus... Um, they could have switch card plus saucer here. They got the attachment for turn. They used the research. From here, they could whiff. And that would set up in a really good spot to be able to take this game. Because we have the attach active, Roaring Resolve, knock out this. And then we just need to we have an extra turn, plus two prize cards, plus a couple top decks to work with to get the knockout on this next Zation. Let's see what our opponent has here, though. They're taking their time. So I feel like... This is, I mean, okay, they have the saucer. Do they have the switch card, though? Two switch down, usually play three or four, and then one or two air balloon. Usually two air balloon. Two air balloon is pretty much a staple right now in ADP Zation decks. Do they have it? No, they don't have it. There's a big charm on the Dedene. Does that matter? That does matter. That's actually so annoying. <laughs> that is insanely, this big charm on this Dedene is insanely annoying. Wow. Because um, now I can cap at attach, run resolve, one eight. I, oh my gosh. So we basically have to switch into Jirachi, um, do this. Then we have to get a Welder, and then Welder into a Switch card, which we only have two of left. All right, sure, we'll just do it. Oh, all right. All right, so we can net. Man, this keeps getting worse and worse. All right. Wait, we're not doing enough, right? Yeah, we cap at 1-8. Oh, my gosh. That, that tanky to Dene. Oh, wait. But we play, do play Zigzagoon. So I can hit this for 180, then they'll move it, and then we'll knock it out next turn. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So I shouldn't have used those switch cards in that manner that I did. We do play Zigzagoon. Um, so hitting for 180 is just fine here. We just have to find Zigzagoon, basically, which is just fine, actually. I think that's just fine to go for that line. Um, now we should find Goon, Knockout, and then Knockout Station. They can't even, if they play a second reset stamp, they can't even stamp us low. So I shouldn't have even used that switch there. I should have been content with the 180. I forgot about the Zigzagoon that we run. Um, had I remembered it, though, we just cleanly hit for 180, just be like, all right. This is fine. Wait for next turn. Then bop. Go from there. Um, they have plenty of saucers left, right? They have plenty of saucers. I guess they haven't drawn a prize card yet, though. So we could even we could even stall for a turn if we have to to set up the play. Because even if they knock out this and then knock out anything else, they can't win the game in two turns, basically. They just can't win the game in two turns. Now they're going after the Zamazenta. Zamazenta set up. So we could actually go knock out Zacian, knock out Zamazenta, and still win the game. But now we have this goon set up for this the Dene here. There's a Marnie. That's fine. My hand was, I don't want to say awful, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> it was just like not a whole lot going on. 
Let's get something a little bit better cooking here. Charizard, Welder, Quick Ball for uh, Aura Corio to draw some cards, I guess is pretty cool. Or Quick Ball for the, if we have any Fire Prized. I think I send up the Charmander no matter what. If we have Fire Energy Prized, I could Quick Ball for the Goon. And then Goon knock this out. Um, we'll see what our top deck is though. We'll see what our top deck is and I'll see what we have left in our prize cards. So we play 12 Energy, two Fire Crystal. All right, here comes that Zacian. Um, yeah, I think we just throw Charmander up there, quick ball away the comm, see what is prized, and then make our uh, our play call based on that. So, here we go, Charmander. Drew a Jirachi. Um, quick ball of Jirachi, because I could use the comm still, I think, for sure. Goon is here, two crystals are here, all the fire energy is in the deck. So, I'm going to grab Oracorio, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Just grab Oracorio, just draw some cards, see what happens. We'll go from here. Oracorio. What do we get? <laughs> Literally nothing. Um, this has become a little bit awkward. Uh, my last switch card. I switch. Sell a wish. Get your fire crystal. And go for it. Um, I don't think we can get the win this turn. I'm going to Fire Crystal. And a Welder 1 down here. Still have the same game plan in mind. Bench this Charmander. I'm going to calm away the Jirachi and grab myself the Charmeleon. Put this in play. Um, and then we'll go from here. I'll attach over here on this Charmander as well. Split it up and then just pass. We still have the same game plan. And then knock out one of these two guys and then goon ping the dedene to win the game um not gonna do it this because we don't have any switch cards we couldn't switch again we're out we're down four switch and three net i did that to myself when i did that weird play like two turns ago when i could just hit the dedene for 180 and set up for the six goon and i just didn't um but now we're set up pretty well i think i think we're in a pretty good spot here Let's see what our opponents got we can welder if they take a knockout we can oracorio just need to find an out to a goon we have two quick ball one calm left in the deck um, so we have a decent amount of outs to find it. Also, the goon itself, I guess. Um, KO the Dedene. And then there are only two attackers that are set up. Unless they can somehow set up an ADP, which they could do, I guess. Um, if they set up the ADP, that would be a, a tough knockout to get. But it looks like they're locked in on this Scamazenta. There should be a clean dub here coming up. Just need to um, play our turn, basically. We need to play our turn. Yeah, so we want to start with... The roaring resolves because that gets the energy out of the deck so then we can't welder or or choreo into those energy anymore it'll make it a lot e or it'll increase our chances of finding that zigzagoon so we're going to start with evolve here roaring resolve see what we get i don't know how many energy are left in the deck i think they're all there so it's what five six seven eight so there's four in the deck so we can actually roaring resolve twice to completely thin the deck out of energy minus four cards in the deck that's a big deal going from it'll be 17 after we top deck down to 13 and we weld an oral quarter for six we're basically drawing half our deck at that point so that's uh instead of like a third of our deck um pretty good value hopefully our opponent does not have a second reset stamp and they don't or if they do they don't find it um that'd be great please do not play two reset stamp or if you do just let it be chilling in the deck or something let's let it chill we don't need it you don't need it i don't want to see it super unnecessary right now there's another attachment to the zation okay i'm feeling pretty good here they're taking their time maybe they're debating because of how how uh seemingly bad my turn was if they have the reset stamp they're like do i even want to reset stamp their hand they didn't really do anything last turn um i would 100 reset stamp if i was them but maybe they don't have it one two three five yeah so four energy in the deck and thin all those out with the roaring resolves welder or choreo comes a great catcher oh no wait but they can't kill or choreo i don't believe but they can hard retreat or they can switch um uh i don't know if they thought this one fully all the way through all right they have the switch damn all right so now we're down our or choreo that's uh not good <laughs> i wanted my aura choreo it's part of my draw power good play from our opponent though let's see if we can find that zigzagoon still go charmeleon we don't have any switch cards left so we don't set up the draw because we can't use it actually okay charizard um roaring resolve I'm gonna grab two um a lot of pokemon one calm ordinary about two quick ball we have a good 
good odds, I think, here of making this happen. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about is if I want a welder first. I think we just we do the other Charizard. I think we just do the other Charizard here. In it out because we, if we keep a Pokemon in hand, then if we just draw just the comp, but so much of our deck is Pokemon, we're probably gonna see a Pokemon here. Okay, welder. I don't know here. I don't think it matters. There's the comp. There's a Pokemon. Like I said, so much of our deck was Pokemon there. How many Pokemon were left in here? There was five, six Pokemon. So half our deck was basically Pokemon, or a third, half. I don't know. Zigzagoon. Let's win this game. Goon, Ping, yes. Dedenne. Wish I'd remember this play previously before I wasted all those switch cards. Remembered it now. Uh, just in time. Our Dedenne was prized. And we're a candy prized. And there's a concede. That's a dub. All right, we're into another one uh, up against Floyd the Barber. See how we fare against Floyd here. Going first. That means they're play probably playing a fire deck. I don't want to open the Zacian then. I'm going to open the Oracorio. I mean, opening neither of these is very good, to be honest. Um, but this thing won't get one turn one, one hit KO'd by a Heatran. So there's the benefit of that by opening the Oracorio over the uh, Zacian for sure. I in our hand is not very good. Intrepid Sword. Going to keep all the energy around because energy is so important in this deck. Um, we have a switch, so we can like switch out the Oracorio. Okay, so I'm going to guess Senna Scorch here from our opponent. We'll see what they're actually playing here in just a second. Here comes a Pokey Gear. That's a boss. That's not a welder. That's good for us. Yeah, we'll see exactly what they got going on here in just a second. But that's my guess here. There's a Marnie. Mm, I like my hand. Um, it started off a little bit whack, but picked up real fast. Oh, man. We had the Charmander. We had the welder form. We had a heart. We probably didn't want to give them the heart, though. And we just Intrepid Sword again. And then we go from there. No such luck. Oh, now the hand is just... It just is. Uh, <laughs> not as good. Just not as good. There's a Volcanium from our opponent, but they can't use that Flare Starter turn one because they already did attach for turn. Um, it's probably a mistake for them to have to attach to here, actually, for turn. Because they could have just gone Marnie, and then if they get a switch plus the Volcanium, they could have Flare Started. So, so yeah, definitely a mistake here to attach, I think. There's a Calm. Yeah, I guess I like using the Calm here. We can go ahead and grab ourselves a... Jirachi, I think, is probably the best thing to grab. Yeah. And attach Retreat. Get a Stellar Wish off. Another Calm. Not that not that great. No Charmander turn one, or this turn is pretty bad. I could have Calmed for a Charmander, I guess, and just benched a Charmander. Some Charmanders. We can get a Charmander here with this Quick Ball, I guess. Um, still a little bit behind. If they have a Welder here, they can KO my Jirachi. But then we get the Oracorio, I guess, so it's not that bad. Um, but we're just kind of behind just because we don't have any attackers set up. We're just lacking attackers. We could also just go for an attack with a uh, the Cramorant if it's in the deck here. Actually, we could go for attack with Cramorant um, to KO this Volk. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just Cramorant KO the Volk. I'm down. That's a big discard there. Almost out of gears. Switches a low on those as well. Let's see if they hit an energy for the baby Volk or not. That's a big question. They've welded. They've dead changed. Uh, did they hit an energy for the baby Volk? If they didn't, feeling real good. If they did, feeling less good, but still manageable for sure. Oh, they hit it. All right. Yeah. Definitely see the Cramorant play being the move we make here. I mean, we're just going to go ahead and use da uh, Dance of Tribute and see what we hit. But we definitely see sniping this Volk, getting that out of play, being the play. And then maybe even next turn, sniping the, the Dene, and then Charizard follow up, one hit KO, the Senna Scorch. Is that second Goss I just saw? I think it was second Goss. Yeah, so Cramorant snipe this into Cramorant snipe this. Sounds like a good plan to me. Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get those cards. There's the Welder. Going to go ahead and start with Dance of Tribute anyways. Three. There's the. Oh my gosh, we just drew into everything. All right, let's get it. Welder. One, two, three. Charmander. Jirachi. Patch. Switch. We could just snipe the Dedenne here. The problem with sniping the Dedenne is that it leaves it open for Heat Transit GX attack. That's a little bit easier. Um, so I do like spit shotting this, I think. Take out that. Oh, I could have quick balled. You know what I could have done is I could have quick balled from YouTube to put a welder on top, I guess. It's all right, I guess. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It, I could have done that, um, but we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Hopefully, we just top deck. I don't even know. Hopefully, they put hearts in play for us, and then we top deck Welder, I guess. Yeah, because I know th they probably want to put one in play eventually anyways. Put a hearts in play eventually anyways. So, maybe they'll help us out with that. If not, we could beak catch next turn even. That wouldn't be terrible. Just hit him up with a beak. Uh, beak sees. Just do some cards. Um, how many do we need to KO this? We need... One more than ADP, so we can't. So we need six. So we need to get one in play uh, ahead of time here in this scenario. 
they cannot one shot they cannot one shot our cram right here and that was a marnie off of the eldegoss grab so that means they're not even attacking this turn with the g max inferno uh yeah they're just not even going to attack with uh this they're not even gonna hit our cram right this turn that's pretty good for us um yeah we can go attached to a charmander and then welder for two roaring resolve attached that's six which is enough to take the knockout on this uh set of scorch unless they put a big charm or a heat energy if the heat energy we can goon ping to get around that but it does become pretty um pretty big poke to deal with that was a cram iron grab from our opponent there are their benches locked no more options can come down and play for them Let's see how well we draw off of this uh marnie here i'm looking for a welder uh i mean if you can get me a welder but kind of welder i'm looking for it looks like we're gonna go with a beak catch here bench, Char bench charmander beak catch um probably get fire crystal over hearth because we don't want to give our opponent access to hearth especially with how much they've been struggling with energy to be honest yeah we don't want to give them hearth oh there's the runaway are they gonna goss out of here i'm gonna hit for 50 at least boat up back to the deck or are they gonna chill they open up the bench space they get access to the goss again too which is a big deal all right and now they can ko me actually with the G Max Inferno next turn with a Welder for two plus attach plus uh yeah Welder for two plus attach does knock out my Cramorant here. Um, they can also Cramorant my Cramorant if they want to do that as well. That's also an option for my opponent. Um, I think there's debating setting up the Cramorant here to use Beat Catch themselves next turn. I mean, of course they can't see their hands. So I don't know for sure, but that's what it feels like. All right, Welder, no extra energy to go with it though. I will Welder it down though. Okay. Charmander, attach, and I'm gonna go ahead and beat catch. We're gonna get a uh, fire crystal, we prize a fire crystal and a welder here. So now we can theoretically KO anything that our opponent throws at us. If they don't throw really anything at us, we can just go ahead and spit shot KO to Dene, and I'd be way more than I'd be more than content to have that be my 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 play for the turn. Is just KO this to Dene with spit shot. I got the fire crystal, got the welder, second fire crystal prize, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, third welder, but we have the Mewtwo in hand as well to kind of get more welders going. Yeah, I think our opponent is going for it. All right, stamp beat catch from themselves, uh, for themselves here. We got, <laughs> we're drawing insanely well this game. I'm not even gonna, oh, but then they go ahead and do this. Come on, man. All right. So switch card is what we need now. We need a switch, specifically a switch. Switch card, switch. We do play four of them. So it's not super unlikely that we could weld her into a switch here. Um, if not, they're going to probably switch on our Cramorant. So let's see what we get here. Welder on. I'm put one on the Cramorant here. Can we get a switch? We can. All right. Perfect. Switch. Attach. We're going to snipe that to Dene to draw a prize card here, I think. Yeah. I don't see a reason not to. Spit shot. Goodbye to Dene um this kind of makes it our prize trade a little bit awkward because once we kill the cramorant we'll go down to one prize card but they don't really have anything in play that is like super easy to take advantage of as a um one prize poke yeah there's nothing to really super take advantage of there's a hearth coming in play finally i don't want to put mine in place i don't want to give them access to hearth especially because like they could have actually taken like if they played two fire crystal be catch for second fire crystal once they had to play around giving me hearth which would have been a, a solid play for sure yeah, we'll see. They're going for the with the Senna Scorch, though. I love to see this. We love to see this. This is what we wanted to see, was our opponent to actually go down the Senna Scorch route instead. Because um, this thing, we can one-hit KO. If we get... We do need a lot of energy. I didn't count how many energy are in my prize cards or not. So, uh, we do need a lot of energy, but we, we can do it. It is possible, which is the point. Um, it is tough to pull off, though. Let's see, if we, let's, see if, let's see if we can get there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Draw scoop. I'm gonna quick ball away, Jirachi, real fast. Just gonna check my deck. Um, fire crystals in here. There's three fire, so we can get uh, five. So we need to hit the fire crystal or the ordinary rod, which is prize. So the ordinary rod doesn't work. Um, we have welder in hand, but I'm gonna need more welders in the future. But I might need to use Stellar Wish more. So we're just gonna grab another Jirachi here. Hearth away this. Grab one because I want to leave two in the deck for Roaring Resolve. That's where it gets a little bit iffy. Um, Okay, we're gonna welder here. Got the candy Charizard. So we're just short the fire crystal at this point. So I can go candy, Charizard. As long as I didn't miscount this, which is also possible I did. Roaring Resolve. Take two, did not draw any of these, so we get them. Now if we just get the fire crystal, we do just win the game, I believe. All right, Dance of Tribute. 
see what we get no fire crystal yet all right stellar wish no fire crystal yet uh we can uh take a switch so we can get more stellar wishes working i think bench jirachi scoop up net a jirachi send up jirachi we're gonna quick ball away the zigzagoon i believe we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the dene because we could just keep going uh, no reason to not just keep going. Stellar Wish. There's the Fire Crystal. So that should be the game, I think. I'm like, I'm not like sold. I have, not, I have yet to sell myself on that. that we've actually won this game. But this should be it, if I had to guess. <laughs> I think we got him. Put the Jirachi back down just in case. Uh, continuous Blaze Ball. Yes, it is the one in KO. 330. I never trust my own math because I'm wrong so often. But that's it. We get a dub over the Senna Scorch as well. Taking out two of the big dogs. ADP and Senna Scorch in these games. That's going to do it for the games with the Baby Zard. Um... I know these games look really good. You know what? Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the games. Peace.